Hey everyone, my name is Mario St. Francis. Hola a todos. I am a model and an actor that then became a man of faith and especially a man devoted to the Eucharist. I was so lost pursuing fame, fortune, and romance. I had been in Cosmopolitan Magazine. I was on MTV, did a fashion show for GQ. I was, I was so full of myself and trying to be this image and try to be, you know, when you're in the grocery store and you see all the magazines. Growing up, I wanted to be those people because I thought that's what it was, that's what, it, that's what life was about. I thought that was what was most important. And as I was at the height of my career, when I was about to compete for the title of Mr. World and be given the title of Mr. Columbia in order to compete for that, compete for that God in some way intervened in my life and I had an insane accident where I almost died. And as I laid there and I was bleeding, I thought, God, please, I want to save my life. Like, I'm not living the right way. Like, and I started to realize that I was thinking about God as I thought I was dying. So in my worst moment, I thought about this throwaway, like God's not important because it's about fame, fa fashion, fortune, mo romance, money, rock and roll, sex, drugs. And I said, if I'm calling out to God, this, this mysterious, universal, spiritual creature, this, this something out there in my dying moment, why aren't I living for him? And so I begged God and I said, God, please save my life and I'll change my life. And he did. And I didn't change my life. I kept going with the world again, and again, just thinking, oh, it was a human intervention. And God broke a bone in my body. I got another accident. And I had another accident. I've had 13 accidents that are just, just crazy since I was born. And it wasn't until I walked into a church. They were offering free pizza. There was a man who was preaching. There was something called a parish mission. And I sat there. And I listened and I realized, I don't know my faith. I had left the church. I had become Protestant. I thought I wanted a living experience. But this priest expressed and taught salvation history. He explained everything from creation, from God speaking, and it was made. And he, he explained the 2,000 years of history to Jesus saying that the Father and I are one. And Jesus spoke and said, this is my body. This is my blood. If he is the Son of God, couldn't what he's saying actually happen? If God said, let there be light and there was light, Jesus said, this is my body. And so in my mind, I thought, okay, I get it. Wow, wow, the Eucharist. And then the priest started to walk around the room with something I'd never seen before, a monstrance. And everybody was kneeling in the church and kneeling and kneeling and kneeling. And I thought, what is going on? And my mind started to connect the dots. This is truly, fully, and completely the presence of not only Jesus Christ, but of God, the Trinity, the Eucharist. If creation is real, then Jesus' Eucharistic discourse is real. And I started to shudder and, and, and in my head I said, leave me, go away, because the priest was walking by me. I said, you are light, you are life. I am wrong, I have sinned, I have broken so much. I am broken, I need to go to confession. I need to redo my life. And I felt the beauty and the life and the love of Christ in the Eucharist as he, as he walked past me. And the priest passed by and I thought, I'm gonna change my life. And I started to just feel really humanly, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna to go to confession and I'm gonna be a good little Catholic. And then the priest turned around and he walked right up to me. And he did the sign of the cross with the monstrance with Jesus. And in my head, I was going, no, 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 because God can see what's in the soul. And I knew he would see my muck and my mire and my sins my vanity, my pride. And I heard an audible voice. It's crazy, it's my story. It's what happened to me. I heard a voice say, yes. I thought kids were playing around with me and I turned around thinking somebody's whispering in my ear. It was so real in my ear. I turned around, nobody was there. And I looked at the Eucharist and in my head, I was like, you can't be talking to me. And that same voice, it's so weird, but this is my testimony. It said my name. It said, Mario. And in a church full of 500 people, I started to cry out loud. I was deeply sorrowful. And from that moment on, my life changed. And I became a man of the Eucharist. I became this passionate, evangelical, Bible-believing, Holy Spirit, Roman Catholic Christian. And the Eucharist now became the source and summit of my life. 
And it was only then that I started to understand that the church has been preaching this message for 2,000 years. There's history of people from the year 70 AD that talked about the Eucharist. And I began to live my life as this fashion model, as this actor, mass every day, praying in the morning, praying in the evening, praying the rosary. I became a crazy Catholic, crazy in love with Christ. I didn't even think about myself as a Catholic. I was just a man who loved Christ and loved the Eucharist and it's filled my life and it's made me this crazy wild man that's been able to travel around the world. Come to know Jesus Christ. Come to know the gift that he's given us in the Eucharist. Come to him, kneel before him, lay down before him, find him in an adoration chapel, find him in a Catholic church where the tabernacle is. Draw close to God and his son, Jesus Christ, and the gift of the Eucharist. I beg you, this is the greatest gift the world has, and I was missing it for so long. If you've been away from him, come back, come back. He wants you, he longs for you, and this is what life is. I have now found the joy and the fulfillment and the this glory of living a life that's Eucharistic. I still have my ups and downs. I still have my falls. I still owe money. I'm still losing hair. I'm still, I still have gray hairs. So many things will go wrong, but Jesus is always there and he wants you and I to come close to him. So live this revolution, live this Eucharistic explosion that we're being offered. Ask your priest to draw you closer to the Eucharist. Ask for help. Look for videos. Listen to podcasts. Pray. Pray to God. Ask him. Reveal yourself to me. And he will. He did it to me. He can do it to you. God bless you.